Hey guys, welcome back to Very Beautiful. Today I'm doing this sea goddess, sea queen, evil Ursula mermaid style look. And I just wanted to give you guys a last minute Halloween look in case you have no idea what to do. You could just wear blue and green with this and you'll be good to go. If you wanna see this video and try to do a last minute look, then it's up ahead. Just keep watching, thanks. So I already have on my foundation and I just have it all over my face to start with a blank canvas. And I'm gonna be using the Seafoam Green color out of the Wet n Wild Stop Paint Playing Safe palette. Obviously use whatever palette you have that has similar colors. This one was just one that I had from using in a previous video that I really liked and I felt like they were pretty pigmented. This is just gonna be a base for the rest of the shadows cause I'm trying to do somewhat of like a gradient effect with these shades since they're all together under the sea looking. We're gonna go to the darker green shade that was right next to it and start with the outer corners and bring it inward toward the middle of the eyelid and a little bit above the crease. And again, I'm blending it in so it might seem like I'm taking a really long time. Well, it's just to make sure that it looks smooth and doesn't look like a bunch of color blocks because I just like everything to be well blended and probably take too much time on it to be honest. Next, I'm going to be taking that nice dark blue shade and that's going to be going on the out of, ah, outer corners. So I'm trying to make those just like have a little bit of a point to them, but not too much because I always end up just like rubbing the point off in the end anyway to round it out. I don't know why, but I always try to do the point. I feel like it's something to do with my eye shape that I always try it at first and then later I end up changing it. But anyway, I digress. I'm using that on the outer corners and trying to come inward, but again, blending it together. And now that same shade, I'm gonna take a little angled eyeliner brush and start adding it to my lower lash line. And this is just to kind of make my eyes pop out and look like they're bigger than they really are by putting a darker shade at the bottom. It just kind of helps bring them out a little bit more and just looked more dramatic. I always like putting stuff on. Wow. Wow. Okay. So there you go. This is actually why I haven't uploaded a lot of YouTube videos is because I'm always feeling like I have to do things perfectly. And I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I just continued to do this and was like, I'm not going to freak out about this thing on my face. Obviously, I'm going to wipe it off later. But it's just makeup. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm gonna make mistakes. And that's part of YouTube and getting to like this as a hobby again is just, you know, just accepting that there's mistakes and you don't have to make a perfect freaking video every time. So I know I totally went on a tangent, but that's part of the reason I haven't been making videos. It hasn't been as fun. And I'm taking the What's Up highlighter stick from Benefit and I'm just putting that on my lower waterline you could use white eyeliner if you have it or just any even a highlighter of any kind you can wet the brush and put that there too and this is avon's love at first lash mascara and it's just a black mascara that i really like on my lashes because it doesn't make them too hard and it seems to define them really well so it's one of my go-to mascaras i do kind of hoard mascaras i don't really know why so these are actually gonna be scales and I got them from a kit with these little gems from Walgreens. They still have them. It was sold for $5.99, but I think it was on clearance for like $4.19. It comes with like all of this stuff, but basically I just wanted the scale stencil, like the small scales, because I think Wet n Wild had one, but they were really big and I wanted these, so. So using that seafoam green shade again, we're going to stencil in some scales. And to start off, I'm gonna be doing my temples and just using that shade to give like my look a little bit more depth and really give that mermaid vibe or Ursula or sirens. I don't really know, sea witch, sea queen, you know, you pick whatever you want to call it but this is what's going to really give it the vibe of course we have the cool 
under the sea tones, but the scales are what sell it that you're another creature. And they just look really cool. I, I really suggest using a shade that has some like luminance to it. Just something that's gonna, you know, have some shimmer and look different at different angles because I think that's what makes it look more like a creature and, you know, not just something you drew on in a sense. I don't know. It looks like more like a Gulliam version instead of having like a hard outline on your scales. Or at least that's how I feel. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as you guys are watching. And then I'm going to actually take the same stencil, but now we're going to use a different shade. We're going to use the darker green shade just because I'm going to line out under my cheekbones. So instead of using like a bronzer there or, you know, like a contouring kit type of thing, we're going to use the scales to contour the cheeks because why not? And I'm going to take this blue shade with my finger and just dab it at the bottom of the scales. And this is gonna give it even more dimension cause it's gonna look like it's fading from that darker green into the blue. And I don't know, I just thought it was cool since like that's basically what my eyes are doing. Then like, why not have the scales do that? And that's how it came out. So I did it to the other side. Just wanted to save some time cause this is a long video. And now I'm gonna be doing it to my forehead and I was not trying, I promise, when I did the seafoam green and then using the what's at, what is it, what's up? Yeah, the what's up by Benefit, but use any highlighter that you have. It could be powder, it could be cream, it doesn't matter. This one was just easy and like small in there for me. Dab it on, make sure that it's bright. Somehow, some way, this came out in the shape of a heart. I don't know how I did that because I didn't plan it, but it worked. And I was so happy because I was like, I didn't plan this. Now I'm gonna be taking my powder highlighter cause I do prefer that for like my cheeks. Like this highlighting powder that I have from this kit, it's called Guy's Face Effects. And this is their daylight kit. Oh my gosh, I love this. Like it's my favorite like contouring kit ever. And I've had different ones that were more expensive, but I love this powder one, especially over the cream ones. It's just like the shimmer that they give is just so good and I love it. So I put that all over pretty much every point down my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, cheeks, um, everywhere except my forehead because obviously I have like, you know, the heart shape skills there and I just think it looks so cute. I know I'm doing my eyebrows now, but I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. I'm using Benefit Goof Proof and I mean, it seems to be pretty goof proof. I made a mistake, but I was able to just like rub it out with my finger and it looked fine. Um, and this is in shade four, if anybody's wondering. I got it as part of the Brow Superstars kit that I bought from Sephora online, which is a whole hot mess, but that's another story because I had to like return it and get another one because the 3D Brow Superstar thing or whatever, 3D Brows, it was like not, like it didn't have the stopper, for the, the wand, so it was just like, it looked like chocolate, that's what Brandon said. So yeah, again, I went off topic. But anyway, I'm doing my brows with Goof Proof and it really is Goof Proof, like you can't really mess it up and I feel like it comes out looking really good. Now, for the fun part, I'm gonna be taking these Iris Beauty from their Passion line, these iconic blue contact lenses to just kinda like seal the deal that this isn't me, this is a costume. And just look how great these contacts look with this makeup. It almost looks like I planned this. Whoa, you know. But anyway, I just love how these look with the limbo ring because I don't know if you guys saw in my video before with the limbo ring, I was kind of saying like how it just kind of felt like a vampire or something, like just something else, but it like fits. It's like evil mermaid look type of thing because it's creature like and I love it and I was just using highlighter on my inner like like the little brow area you know going back to the early 2000s thing that Tyra Banks showed us this is the Avon iconic Hoon's Tooth collection and this one is I think it was like wine kisses put that on and now I'm gonna use something that honestly I do not recommend like the color is cool this uh, NYX or NYX, I never knew what that was supposed to be pronounced as. 
it's a cool color and it's called glow on lip gloss however the whole reason why i bought this was because guess what it's supposed to glow in the dark and it's supposed to glow like a slightly different color so like this one's supposed to be like it's a lilac vibes so it's supposed to like glow in a slightly different color even though you put it on so that was the whole reason i put it on like i didn't really not like the you know wine kisses color um anyway putting the little gems in my tear duct because i saw that on a k-pop video and i thought it was pretty so i was like i'm gonna do it and this is the finished look doesn't it look great guys i'm so excited i look like a creature like i just came out of your pool and i'm gonna take you under and kill you or give you snacks. I'm curious if we turn the lights off if this actually glows because I put this on top of it. So let's see if it glows. Okay. This doesn't look, wait, turn off the TV. Hold on, pause it. This is gonna be like the longest video to edit like ever. Let me close this. No, <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing at all. This is so ridiculous. They lied. They lied. He lied. <laughs> <laughs>